segment with our friends from Tri-City Furniture and uh, Kathy Kilborn joining us again. Thank you Hi, for Sarah. being here. Thank and, you. And uh, this is kind of uh, depicting what you would have maybe at a, a wine cabinet or a, a, a china cabinet in your home Correct. and how you would decorate that. And there's a reason that you have all of these things placed as so, right? Correct. Yes, um, lots of times I come into a home and they just have family pictures sitting across. And not much excitement going on with a nice piece of furniture. So it's really nice to add some focused light. And if this was the corner of my room, we would want the highest piece on the corner side because it forces your eye to move into the piece rather than into the corner. And so then I've added just a, a table runner from Christmas that I've had around the house. I have kind of folded it up, added a few ornaments, and you know you always have one of those old Christmas trees. Mm -hmm. I took mm -hmm. a couple of the pieces and just laid it in. It works better than some real. You don't have to worry about needles. I've added an, or, uh, an arrangement that I've had uh, with ornaments. Again, I'm looking for sparkle and texture. I also add some candlesticks, and we can put candles in. These actually have a little bit of sparkle, so it adds to the dimension, but I don't really have to add the candles. And I don't stop with just the top, but I add some color and dimension for Christmas to the base. So if I'm wanting just a beautiful presentation, this helps to add more color and more sparkle to the piece. Sure, sure. Now, um, if folks look at this and they think it's overwhelming, like you just mentioned, you use things around your house, right? Absolutely. Yep. And, you know, add the color. Whatever you're trying to do, if you're using red or if you're using greens or whatever, but add the color to the piece. Many of these cabinets are just brown or black, mm -hmm. and we want to add the colors of the holiday to it. So this might work well for Valentine's Day as well, if you like to have a little bit more decorating through throughout the year. So don't be intimidated, take a risk, right? Absolutely, and just use some of the things you have around the home. We have lots of things set up, so if you're needing more ideas, it's real easy to come over. We'd be glad to help them. All right, great, thanks Kathy so much for joining us. And uh, if you want to uh, get those tips again and you just wanna make sure you remember them, we're gonna put all of them on WNEM.com. We'll see you next time for another Design Time segment with Kathy.